Michael Mikes here. I know it's been a while since I put up a video. I'm sorry. Uh, we took a little trip in the middle of October and uh, I left a window open in one of the bedrooms, which uh, was the weekend we had the huge storm and a lot of rain came in there and I've been uh, remodeling and uh, reconfiguring that bedroom, tore out a wall, tore out the floorboard, put in a uh, new drywall. So I've been pretty busy trying to fix my critical error when I let everything in that room get wet. So we're back and I'm gonna do probably my favorite uh, soup of all time, which is uh, New England clam chowder. The recipe we're gonna post, I got from allrecipes.com. That's normally where all the recipes I try when I wanna try something, I just uh, go there and I uh, look for their recipe. Uh, there's one thing on this recipe that we're going to post that I'm not going to put in. They have carrots. I don't want carrots in my clam chowder, so I'm not going to use that. And there's one extra thing that we're going to put in, and we'll put that up uh, on, the, uh, uh, on the text of the vi uh, below the video. Uh, I'm going to add a little bit of sour cream, which really helps the taste of the clam chowder. Now, if you take a look, this is uh, all the ingredients we'll be using. Some celery, potatoes, onion. I'm going to use one, uh, one extra uh, can of clams. Uh, it calls for three. I'm going to use four. Uh, a little bit of red uh, wine vinegar at the end. Some flour. Nutmeg and butter. It calls for chopping up the uh, celery, the uh, potatoes, and the onions. calls for them chopping them up. And you really have to chop them up pretty small. So that's going to take a little while. Now, we always order... If, whenever I go to a restaurant and I haven't been there, if they have clam chowder, I order it just because I love it so much and I uh, love to taste the different tastes. Um, but I never tried making clam chowder till last summer, or last winter. Last winter I made it. And I think I was like afraid of uh, making a soup from scratch like that. But don't be afraid to uh, do it. It's uh, very easy and it came out uh, very good. It kind of reminds me about five years ago, four or five years ago, and Patty will remember this, I backed my truck into the garage door. And I had to have a guy come out and put a new garage door down. Well, garage doors don't come with any paint on them. They're white. So it didn't match the, uh, we have a three car garage, so it didn't match the garage at all or the other door. But it was like, normally if there's a project to do at my house, I jump on it right away. But for some reason, I was just like scared to do that garage door to paint it to, to match the uh, other one. And we probably went, how long would you say, Patty? Two, three years? Yeah. Two or three years with that, uh, with a big white door there uh, on the garage. And finally, I just went over to Sherwin-Williams. I talked to them about what I had to do. They gave me some advice and sold me the paint. And I didn't need a sprayer or anything. I just used a roller. I uh, sanded it up like they said. It wasn't a lot of sanding. It was just kind of roughing it up a little bit. And I put that uh, paint one on really easy. It looks really great. And five years, you know, three, four, five years later, it's still on there and still looks great. So just like I was afraid of doing the uh, paint in the garage door, don't you all be afraid of uh, trying this clam chowder. Okay, I'm gonna chop up stuff and then we'll get back to when we're uh, sauteing. Okay, Uncle Mike back, I got everything cut up. Uh, you can see how small I cut up the potatoes. There's also onions and celery in there. I'm gonna put it in this big plate here. Pan. And then what I did was, it calls for three of these cans, I used four and I poured the uh, clams into this thing, the strainer, and saved the juice. Here's the juice, so we're gonna use that to cook the uh, vegetables in. And it says add water if you don't cover it all. So we're gonna put on the uh, heat here. And I'm going to, I think I've got a, eh, maybe just a tiny bit of water says you can do that, so we're gonna do that. Could you just do that right in that big pot? No, no, that's gonna be where I'm making the roux. Oh. Okay, now if you look in the big pot here, I've got the butter in there. Uh, I called for three quarter of a cup of butter, so it's starting to melt. Mm -hmm. And we're melting it very slowly because we have had issues in the past. Isn't that correct, uh, Patty, with my yes. butter melting? And we're gonna make a roux out of that. Now back to the clams here. It called for three, three cans of this. I used four cans. 
And also this big clam, uh, clam can, which is like full little baby clam. So we're gonna have a lot of clams in our clam chowder. Wow. No carrots, but a lot of a lot of clams. So we're letting the butter melt. We've got two things going here at once. We're gonna uh, get these uh, sauteed in this uh, clam juice. And I've got that on medium and I've got that here. And here, once the butter melts, we're gonna make a, a roux. I love saying that because it sounds like you really know what you're doing with uh, cooking when you talk about making a roux. Here's the flour that we're going to add to the roux, a little bit at a time. Um, oh, I need a whisker, rubber, rubber whisker. I don't have it. Here's my whisker. I found it. You always want to use it in these anodized aluminum cans. You don't want to use yes. uh, metal pans, cans, whatever. So let me put that there. Um, okay, the butter is melted. I don't think it, we don't want it to boil or anything. I think we just start adding the uh, the uh, flour here, huh? Mm -hmm. Make it all smooth. Okay, let's do that. Throw in that little bit first. Now. The most favorite place that I ever got clam chowder, and I'm sure Patty will agree, would be when we lived in Ohio at a little restaurant, and it was a chain, it started in Florida, but we were in Ohio, called Shells. Wasn't that good? Yes, it was excellent. And we used to go there almost weekly. They had uh, real good seafood dishes and oh, really good clam chowder. And in fact, we had like a, almost a, uh, this one waitress that used to always wait on us, and her name was Tanya. And we kind of got to know her. She was kind of near our age. She was a little bit uh, older than the typical waitress. And sort of like this social convention, when you ask people, how you doing? It's just sort of socially acceptable to say, oh, I'm doing fine, how are you? Yeah, I'm doing fine. Well, with her, there was always a story Oh, always a problem. <laughs> and the funny thing about the problems was they could, it was stuff like, oh, my boyfriend got laid off. I can't pay my phone bill. Oh, my ex-husband is intending child support. It was always the kind of problem that could be helped with an extra big tip. So I always got quite a kick out of her. But that was good clam chowder in the middle of Ohio. All right, are you getting, seeing how this is turning into a roux? Yes, it's thickening up. Okay, I'm going to turn up the vegetables here a little bit. Now, some recipes call for bacon, don't they? Oh, yeah. So, for people who like bacon or just love it, yeah, that's good. Yeah, I went to a lot, I saw a lot of recipes that called for bacon, but... I'm not a huge bacon fan. I like bacon, but not in my clam Yeah, not in, okay, now I gotta turn this down and I gotta read what I do with this once it's a new. Um, meanwhile, large heavy saucepan, melt the butter over medium heat. Whisk and flour till smooth. Oh, whisking the cream now. So we're gonna make the soup right in here. All right, so we're gonna open this. Start pouring in a quart of this. We might go a little more than a quart. This is one quart right here, 64 tablespoons. So we're adding this in. So that probably cooled it down a little bit. So I'm going to turn that back up. We want this to get nice and thick. A little bit worried about my veggies over here. I want them to do good. And then the last step will be add the clams, a little bit of red uh, vinegar and salt, pepper, and nutmeg that calls for, which I've used. And I like it in there. Add in a little more cream. Nice and thick. Okay, Uncle Mike back. Come take a look at this. Look how creamy this is. It's been on about five minutes is all. Uh, over here on the vegetables, they're ready to go in. You put them all in, juice and all. So we're going to try to do this without spilling.
Oh, look at all that nice stuff going in there. There we go. Are the clams in there now? Not yet. The clams are supposed to go in very last. They say right before you're ready to serve. I've never... I'm going to let this thicken up some more before I put them in there. But I've, I've kept the clams in like a half hour or so and cooked them. And then turned it off. Now, what's our favorite ingredient that we got to remember now? Sour cream. Does and that I, go in now? Yeah. And how much? I don't remember. A dollop. Oh, that's a big dollop. There we go. Put that in there. That was kind of the the secret ingredient at uh, Shell's at that restaurant in Ohio that we like so much. That's what they told us. No, they didn't tell us that. We and just then, guessed because it tasted like Oh, it. we did? Okay. Now, also a little bit of red vinegar goes in at the end and a little bit of pepper and salt to taste and then you're done. That's pretty easy. That is, yes. This was not a long process. Uh, let's see how much... Uh, Red vinegar, uh, two tablespoons. I think that's uh, this right here. It is. Oh, a little bit on the stove there. A lot. Okay. Not sure what that. Oh, a little bit of nutmeg too. Remember. No. Yeah, that's part of this too. Um, uh, a little bit of nutmeg. Maybe nutmeg's not part of this. Onion, celery, potatoes, butter, flour, brown black pepper. Oh. Must be thinking of another uh, dish I cook that takes a little nutmeg. Okay. After this, just a little salt and pepper in there to taste. And we're done. So now... Take a look at this. See how creamy it got again. Wow. Even after all that clam juice, it's real nice and creamy. Turn this down to just a simmer. Grab my clams. Add my clams. Oh, yeah. This is salt and pepper. Now, give me 30 seconds clean up here and then give me a grade on the kitchen, okay? Okay. All right, so this was a very easy uh, dish. I think we were less than an hour from start to finish. And I was able to clean up as I go along. You know, uh, this isn't how I would leave the kitchen overnight, but for just spending about five minutes picking up, give me a grade there, Patty. Oh, you still have some things in yeah. the sink, so uh, I would say... A B. A B, which is pretty good for right after cooking. Now, the most important part of this, like I said, don't be afraid to try this. You got to get oyster crackers or it doesn't taste as good. So make sure you get those. Happy cooking. See you next time. Uncle Mike says bye-bye. Okay, it's uh, Uncle Mike again. Uh, we got everything done. Now we're going to serve everything. So we have a nice pot of this nice creamy clam chowder. Got our oyster crackers bread and butter and salad a nice easy meal to put together for our friends and family which are here and uh we'll see you next time i'll be making something even better uncle mike bye